from the News Channel 8 studios, Let's Talk Live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Doug McKelway. All right, this time of year, you're probably feeling like you're being pulled in 200 directions. Daddy, do yeah, this. Da, 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 da. At least 200. <laughs> and sometimes family dinner can fall to the wayside. So how do you beat the fast food temptation? Well, you get a hold of the 6 o'clock scramble. Where is it? Here it is. It's all a book. There it right is. There. Aviva Goldfarb. She's from Chevy Chase. She's here with us now to tell us how to make dinner time. That's 6 p.m. time when everybody's like, what's for dinner, Mommy? Make it easier <laughs> for us, please. Exactly. Do you ever find yourself staring at the refrigerator at 6 o'clock, wondering oh, what to make for dinner? This is a daily occurrence. For so many of and, us. And, and I've got a six-year-old standing by because his mom is usually on the way home from work or stuck mm -hmm. at work. Whatever, and, I'm, and you go, I'm really hungry. And, and it just makes me really nervous. And I go, what can I make in five minutes, exactly, ten minutes? Exactly, exactly. So you're staring at the refrigerator. The kids are fighting. The phone's ringing. The dogs are barking. And you're thinking, what am I going to make for dinner? Mm -hmm. Well, I help people, especially parents, take the scramble out of 6 o'clock by giving them a whole week of recipes at a time, most of them online and also through cookbooks, and a grocery list. Because that way, if you plan for a week, you can save time, you can save money, you can reduce your stress so much. And you can save your sanity, as I say. Really? This started with you. Your kids were really young, about five, six years ago, and um, you were going through the scramble yourself, and you started it kind of with an email list? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I discovered, for me, it was so stressful with that time at 6 o'clock when you're opening up the refrigerator saying, okay, I have some shredded cheese, I have a couple tortillas, you know, what am I going to make for dinner? <laughs> and so I remembered how my mom had done it when I was a kid. And I remembered it was so calm, and she didn't have all this chaos, and she would sit down once a week with her recipe box, and she would make a grocery list and make a plan for the week. Okay. So I said, okay, whatever I'm doing isn't working, so I'm going to try it my mom's way. And so I did it, and I started planning for the week. I was already into cooking, but having a weekly plan and a grocery list took all of the stress mm -hmm. out of 6 o'clock because I knew that I had all the ingredients to make a healthy dinner and a delicious dinner, and I could just get started. And so that way it just took that what's for dinner stress out every evening. Mm -hmm. And so I was so excited about the revelation that I wanted to share it with everybody. So I started an online newsletter called The 6 O'Clock Scramble, which then turned into a cookbook called The 6 O'Clock Scramble, and is another cookbook coming out in a few months. And so it's really nice. Been it's People love idea. that grocery uh, list. Busy, they love busy. that I give them the plan and they don't have to think about it. They can right. just take the list to the store now, and go. You're not prepared in advance, You right? know what? We're working on a new version where they can just download and print the meals, and that'll be really exciting. Actually, I'm just kidding. No, they have to do it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I Everybody's like, wish, great, though, great, great, I would, I would really make it rich if I could figure out a way for them just to download and print the meals. That's going to be something that I'm just going to work on until Maybe eternity. 25 years from now we'll be talking about that. No, but I'm not preparing this, but I did prepare something for you guys I today. See. This it is out of the smells, cookbook, right? Yes, and you know what? It's so easy because I already had all the ingredients. I knew what I was making. These are called Mumbai meatballs. Mumbai. And it was a recipe that was given to me. I simplified it a little bit by my friend Madhavi Naik, who is from mm -hmm. Mumbai. And they just have some Indian flavors, and they're maple turkey, so they're low Powerful fat. Here, and these, this is a um, mango chutney and yogurt dipping sauce that you could dip it in. And this okay. is just like a mustard, kind of garlic aioli mustard, and that's ketchup for the kids, if okay. you know, if they prefer that. I'm going to try my first bite without anything, so I can get. Yeah. Oh, flavor. okay. The, the full the flavor, absolutely. And then you can keep plucking away. And then I also Very made tasty. a roasted cauliflower, and that is. Um, that is for people who say that they don't like cauliflower or they think that they don't like cauliflower. And I think it's because they haven't had it prepared the right mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. And this is something that everybody writes me and says, I actually like cauliflower now. I call them roasted cauliflower poppers. Yeah, because kids think it's so dull. And it's a this vegetable. makes it really exciting, actually. And it's got that texture that's a little bit hard if it's not cooked right. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is you toss it with a little bit of olive oil, which is what we do with everything. It's and nice. I toss it with some Indian spices and just put it in the, in the oven for about 30 minutes, 400 degrees, and it comes out that nice brown, and soft and it's got right. flavor. It's infused with those flavors from the oven. This so it's, good. I think you're going to love it. Tasty. And so this is also something you could play around with. You could, of course, do Italian spices, but mm -hmm. the Indian spices are kind of a nice change, and especially dipping sauces. Who doesn't love to dip? And actually, Madhavi originally used this as a um, an appetizer recipe, but I thought, well, this would be a fun dinner because why not dip at dinner? And you can and serve kids it. like that. They I mean, love it, and it's adults like, like you know, it. Going you know? out for fast food. Absolutely. You know, it's a little dip it, of makes a French it, fry. it makes it fun. And, um, and you can serve it with some basmati rice, or you can even get this great Indian naan at Trader Joe's. So it's just mm -hmm. another way to, to you, there you have a complete meal, and it takes about half an hour. Let's talk about grocery shopping. You say that you can go to the grocery store like on a Saturday and Sunday and plan for the entire week. Absolutely. Are you reusing some things as in, well, we'll do the salad yes. this day and do this? I try How to use everything it? up. Um, but 
again, the key is what most people do is they go to the store and they wander the aisles and they kind of let ingredients inspire what they're going to make for dinner. But then invariably you get home and you're missing something that you thought that you had because mm -hmm. you didn't have a list. And so what I do is I reverse the process. You think about it before you go to the store. It doesn't take any longer. In fact, it saves you so much time. And so you make your list. And also what I do is I hang a grocery list on the refrigerator and my whole family knows, my kids are 10 and 12, whenever we're running out of something, it goes on the list. And they put it on there. And that way I don't have to go back to the store yeah. you know, in my busy rush hour during the week. Mm -hmm. And so then when, once I, I buy all the ingredients I need for side dishes, main dishes, lunches, breakfasts, and extra milk, of course, because who doesn't run out of milk, or whatever you run always, out of during the week, extra fruit. Milk. And, and I pack all my kids' lunches. So I have a lot of food. I'm you know favorite customer at the grocery store. <laughs> and then during the week, you don't even have to go out at all. So you're saving yourself so much money. And you use up everything because you bought it with a plan. And by the end of the week, my refrigerator is literally empty. And, and I start again. And you essentially have a menu. You lay it yes, out. Yes, I do. I do. I plan it all in advance. I pick what recipes I'm going to do. I set them aside. And um, and then I'll usually plan side dishes too. But sometimes I'll, if something looks better on the shelf, if I try to shop seasonally. So right now, cauliflower is a great thing to buy broccoli. A lot of the cruciferous right. vegetables are great. Brussels sprouts, which a lot, another thing that a lot of people say they don't like, which I can make delicious when just they're by roasted. roasting them. Exactly. He had yeah. roasted ones, and he hates Brussels sprouts, but yeah. someone else brought them on, really and he tasty. ate more than one. Really delicious tasty. when they're roasted. Actually, almost every vegetable is delicious when roasted. Carrots, you can mm -hmm. do green beans, you can do almost everything. And then mm -hmm. you can also take it and put it with some chicken stock in a blender and turn it to soup. See, this you know, can I'm, be I'm done. learning at, at, at my ripe old age that, that efficiency in planning is the key to success Absolutely. in life. You Absolutely. Absolutely, for everything, for everything. And this is just, you know, my specialty happens to be dinner. But efficiency, you can save yourself so much time so you can give yourself back the time that you want and to read your child. I need to start with, with the list, the grocery list, which I don't have on the refrigerator door. Uh. And, and, the, and, the, and the key to that also is that, that I, I remind myself constantly that, I, that we need something out of it, but right. th that's a fleeting thought. It goes away. Absolutely. And because I go to the grocery and I've forgotten. And you know, some people call that a senior moment, but I don't think so. I think we have <laughs> so much on our minds. You're right. That we shouldn't have to remember that we're almost out of peanut butter. Right. I mean, just put it on the list. It's something that we shouldn't even have to think about. And my kids are so well trained, and yours can be too. He, I don't know. Is he writing? He's yet? getting the pen out. He's right. getting the pen out. Peanut Make butter. the list. Peanut, exactly. Exactly. Aviva, exactly. thanks for coming on. Thanks for the treats. Aviva Goldfarb, the name of the book or the name of the cookbook is Six O'clock. Six O'clock Scramble. Scramble. There it is right and there. And we can all relate to that. Yeah, sure can. Thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck with the book. Thank you very much.